Hello everybody, thanks for coming by. Today we are going to talk about how you, as a hobbyist drone pilot, can get FAA authorization to fly in controlled airspace. We got that coming right up. My name is Tim and we do a wide variety of videos from unboxings to reviews to some drone footage to just a, a whole variety of stuff right now. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if this video helps you, be sure to give us a thumbs up. Back in May of this year, the FAA said that they no longer wanted hobbyists to call the local air traffic control tower to get authorization to fly in controlled airspace. From May until uh, July, I believe it was around July 25th of this year, hobbyists could not fly in controlled airspace. And that's kind of a bummer because the majority of us live in uh, metropolitan areas where m there's gonna be controlled airspace. And then in July, AirMap and Kitty Hawk updated their apps to allow hobbyists to file for authorization to fly in controlled airspace. What was interesting about that is the FAA put out the regulations and said, hey, we no longer want you to do this, but they didn't give a whole lot of guidance as to how to do that. So today we're gonna to show you how to do that using AirMap. There are a couple of different apps out there. AirMap to me is one of the easiest. So you will have to download it from the App Store. It's available for both Android and iOS users and can be used uh, with a tablet or with your phone. It can also be done offline before you go to the location to fly. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna open up the app and it's gonna ask you if you haven't already to create an account and it's gonna ask you to verify your phone number. If you don't verify your phone number, they're not able to send you the authorizations to fly. So let's go ahead and we've done all that. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and create our flight. And let's just say I'm going to fly right here in this open space. This is some open space over here by where I live. And uh, you're gonna select your radius. In this case, I don't wanna fly over the main road there, so we're just gonna do a 250 uh, foot radius. And then make sure that that says recreational because that's gonna tell them that you are a recreational flyer. So we're gonna go ahead and hit next. It's gonna go ahead and generate. This particular one, um, let's go back for a minute. So before we do that, let's just take a look at the airspace in general. And for this one, it says that's under 300 feet. So what that's telling you as a pilot, anything under 300 feet is going to get you an, auth an automatic authorization from the FAA. So we're gonna go ahead and um, we're gonna go ahead and pick our spot. So we're gonna go ahead and go right here to our open space. And then we're just gonna do, uh, just, to, just for demonstration purposes, 150 foot radius. We're gonna make sure that where it says, what is our mission, that recreation is, is there, and now we're gonna go ahead and hit next. And then and that's gonna take us into here. So we were approved for under 300, so we'll go ahead and do for 300. And let's go ahead and say we are going to go ahead and do this flight. Today, it's now, uh, let's just say 305, because that'll, uh, in real, if we were really flying it, then we would run over there and have time to get there. So we'll go ahead and do that, whoops. So we're gonna do our flight at 305. There's my name, there's what drone I'm flying. Gives you an opportunity to purchase insurance if you, uh, if you want that. The name of the pilot, what is the last name, first name, your phone number so that they can uh, send you the authorization. Weight of the drone because it's already in there for me, it's gonna tell you that. Does this occur flight over people? I'm gonna say no. Is this a flight that occurs within visual line of sight? I'm gonna hit yes. I will tell you um, that if you hit yes for flight over people and no, for visual line of sight, it's gonna be an automatic denial. So once you have all that filled in, you're gonna go ahead and hit next. It's gonna go ahead and generate that flight plan for you. And there you go. So it's gonna tell me, here's the local weather. So today at three o'clock, it's gonna show that the winds are 295 at three, visibility is four statute miles, and the temperature is 81 degrees. And this is also gonna give you some more information. So this is a pending submission, which means they have to approve it before you're authorized to fly there. And it tells you the local FAA facility. In this case, it's APA or that Centennial Airport for me. It's also gonna talk about air uh, rules you're violating. So this one's telling me that I must fly cautiously within five miles of the airport. And if there's any other rules, so this one here says you must have authorization because this is class D airspace. Once all of that looks great, you're gonna go ahead and hit submit. It's gonna pop up a warning and it's gonna say that this isn't conflicting with the rules displayed. Do you wish to continue? We're gonna go ahead and hit continue. It's gonna go ahead and uh, generate your flight plan. It's gonna put it on their map so other drone flyers can do it. And then gives you a warning saying that, hey, that this uh, flight plan has been 
And it's going to go ahead and tell you now that your flight plan has been submitted to AirMap and is pending authorization from the FAA. I'm going to hit OK. I just got a notification from them. So we're going to go ahead and go in there. And there it is right there. Authorized FAA controlled airspace authorization and accepted for flight within confirmation number. Please fly in accordance with rules and regulations. And then there's their website. Easy to do. Anybody can do that as long as you're flying within the rules um, stated. Um, and then let's go back into AirMap real quick and I'll just show you a couple things. So this is just telling you right here that the flight starts in three minutes and 34 seconds. If this was, if we were actually flying right now, it would just start to, it would tell you how long you've been flying. So if you had an hour, then you would know. This also gives you the opportunity to pull up um, a checklist again, just everything that's been approved. You can save your approvals. There's the weather again. You can also go in here and look at the rules. You can zoom in and out as you need to. And it's that simple. We are approved to fly now in controlled airspace as a hobbyist. Guys, I hope you got some value out of this video. If you did, be sure to give us a big thumbs up. We would really appreciate it. If you have any comments, please leave them in the comment section and I'll be sure to link AirMap um, below. If you guys would like to see a video on how you can do the same process using Kitty Hog, please let me know that as well. And if you, there's enough uh, interest, I'll go ahead and do that. So thanks for stopping by the channel. We'll see you next time.